everybody. Uh, this is just a quick video on how to get through each module that you have, or each chapter, I should say. So uh, this is chapter one of module one. So once you get in here, there'll always be a banner to let you know what the chapter is, and then a to-do list, which is pretty much the same across all of them. So you're going to review the objectives of what you are supposed to be learning through the chapter. Uh, next is an outline. The outline is key concepts and a general um, Word document outline of the order of information here. So this is an example of one. This would be good uh, if you like to take notes in Word um, or perhaps try and fill it in later as a studying tool, but it's here nonetheless for you to uh, look through all the information. So I'll go ahead and close that and head back. Uh, next is your uh, lecture. I have it uh, in slides. PDFs and also three in case you like to take notes as you go through in a particular way. Um, let's see, it's opening up. These are a little bit large uh, file-wise just because of all the images and things, so it will take a few moments to download while you're doing it. Now, while you're going through the lectures, I highly suggest that you are taking notes as you go through, also that you're fully engaging as you go through. So if you think about it, when you're actually in an in-person class, you're listening to the professor lecture, and you are taking down notes as you go. And I imagine that uh, a lot of you taking online classes you're just maybe clicking through the PowerPoint and not really thinking about the material as much. Online classes are harder in that it is learning at your own pace. So you need to make sure that you are critically thinking about the information that is being shown to you. So uh, now that this is loaded, this is our first um, lecture. I always start off with the title of the chapter. This one's starting off a little bit differently because it is our first lecture, um, but I wanted to point out to you a little bit of our setup here. So um, if you go through, this is again a little bit different. Usually it'll start pretty quickly with our chapter overview, which are the different sections of the chapter. And so I have this type of slide in a different color every time we're going to a different part of the chapter. This could be a good indication of you to just do one section for the day or for that time. Uh, also helps you keep things organized in your mind. Organization is also very important in memory and understanding. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. Also what I've tried to do through each of the lectures, aside from making it interactive, as much as possible. Uh, I've put in our videos when you need to. Sometimes there are links, other times it's just saying video one, and these are in direct relation to what the video numbers are on the Blackboard site. So right now I'd be watching this video, I could click it and then push play from here and watch the video. And then when I'm done, I can go back and keep going. So make sure that you're watching them in a particular order because it goes with the material around it. And you do need to be watching these videos. They're not just there for fun. They're to help you better understand material. And yes, some of them will be on different quizzes and exams as well. All right, so we're going to keep going. We're still in the first section. Now at the end of the first section or end of every section, I try to put some review questions without answers to get you thinking about the material. You can find the answers in your book at the very um, most difficult or it's in the lecture as well. So think about these questions and um, hopefully they'll help you uh, gauge your understanding of whether or not you learned things. All right, so now we go back to the overview. We're starting the second part, et cetera, et cetera. And so once we get to the end of the second part here, um, we have review questions related to the second part. And here's the third part. Go through this. 
And then at the very end, here's third part um, review questions. Uh, also, uh, I have different things that are blocking the information and then the next slide I have all the information shown in an in-person class. I would take these away a little bit at a time, uh, but think about the information prior to me uh, showing you the information. So I have questions here. Think about what you might think it is. And then the next one, I show you what that information is. So just a few different things on how these are uh, throughout lectures. Um, I think that's it for the lecture. So I'm going to go back to our overall chapter. Um, so what do we have? Review the object objectives, review the outline. We did that. You need to read your textbook prior to looking at the chapter slides is the best practice for understanding. Read and or watch all supplemental articles or videos. And then you have your posts and replies to the discussion board in your chapter quiz. This is usually all going to be done in a week time span. However, sometimes it's in a two week time span. So make sure you pay attention to your due dates. So after the lecture, the video that is already linked from the lecture. And uh, here's some optional review uh, irrelevant sites. If you want to look into these, if you're interested, uh, optional meaning that they are not required for tests and things like that. All of the websites that are listed in every chapter are optional. And then uh, there's all, uh, for each chapter, there is a review crossword puzzle and a matching worksheet. These are for you to use studying. You do not have to turn them into me. You don't have to do them at all. However, uh, students from other classes, this is actually taken from feedback from a student from my online class previously that they wish they had something like these uh, worksheets that a previous professors in other classes had done. So I took that feedback to heart, made these for you. And so you can print these out and do them. And these are taken directly from uh, material from chapters, quizzes, and tests, etc. So it's not going to get you prepared for everything, uh, but it'll also be able to check your understanding. So try to do these without your notes to see how much you're actually remembering prior to taking quizzes and or exams or both. Um, let's see. So for every chapter, this is the module. You have your due dates here, so hopefully that'll get you uh, in a not forgetting certain things. Generally, I have due dates on the same days in the week also, so that won't get you confused. But when in doubt, go to this. And if you're confused, always post to our uh, virtual uh, discussion board uh, office here. Let's see. Discussion board, virtual office right here. Post a question. I'm subscribed, so I'm going to get emails every time you guys email me, and then I will send the email back to you guys regarding what the answer is, if there's any confusion. So that is it. I just wanted to walk you through what to do for every week. I hope that is helpful, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.